Hey, Lauren Southern. So we're the feminists that you were talking to, and you think you don't need feminism? Well, here's an example of what it would sound like without feminism. Say goodbye to your voice and your opinion. You are now just a piece of property. This isn't an 1800 mindset. This is still happening to women today in North Korea, Pakistan, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and more. So today I wanted to speak to those feminists and explain why I'm still not a feminist and why third wave feminism is not in fact a movement for equality. I wanna start by asking a question. If feminism is a movement for equality, why do we not see equal representation of both genders issues? And why do we not see feminists complaining about benefits that women have over men in certain situations? I bet very few people watching this video right now know that around 100,000 to 140,000 males are raped annually in U.S. prisons. This is more males raped than females in the U.S. annually, yet feminists remain silent on the issue. Almost half the domestic abuse victims in the U.S. and Canada are men. Yet there are no safe houses for them, no court advocacy programs, no subsidized counseling or legal care like women. Despite being half the victims, they are basically ignored. Men make up 80% of suicide victims, 92% of workplace deaths, 97% of combat deaths, and 77% of homicide victims. Men are objectified, men are raped, men are mistreated. Men are held to ridiculously high societal standards, just like women. Yet feminists continue to place this blanket judgment over all men that they are all privileged and all women that they are all oppressed. Yet as a woman, I will almost always win custody of children in a divorce case. I will receive less than half the sentence a man does for the exact same crime and actually have my rape and assault accusations taken seriously and I won't be laughed at for not being manly enough. With one quick Google search, I can find a safe house in my area if I have been in an abusive relationship. As a woman, I am more likely to get a government or military job, despite qualifications, just to fill a quota due to affirmative action. And I'm also more likely to get into a university because of my gender. So if feminism really were a movement for equality, you would see feminists rioting about the 140,000 men raped you would see them questioning the fact that women get less than half the prison sentence a man does for the exact same crime. Yet, we do not see equal representation of men's and women's issues. Despite popular belief, feminism is not in fact a synonym for equality. I'm not trying to say that men have more issues than women. My point is that both genders have issues. And to argue that feminism is a movement for equality and doesn't just represent one gender's issues is quite frankly ridiculous. So this is why I'm not a feminist. I'm not a feminist because I believe that both genders should be treated equally and both their issues should be addressed. I'm not a feminist because I believe I should prove that I'm worthy of a job rather than having it given to me to fill a quota. I'm not a feminist because feminists are unintentionally creating a world of reverse sexism that I don't want to be a part of. So I will stick to promoting equality and justice rather than a faux form of equality Third wave feminism has done more to exploit male oppression than any other wave and has addressed not only gender, but race, class, sexual orientation, religion, and so much more. Third wave feminism is probably the most inclusive of all people, anyone that has ever been oppressed, any minority, throughout the whole world. I don't know about you, but I need feminism.